I'm going to share with you four tips on how you can improve your leadership skills. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica Hamas and I am coming live to you with Jessica's Card Chronicles. I am a beauty influencer here on Facebook. I love to come on here and inspire and empower other people to live their life true and authentic to themselves and not caring what other people think and also embracing their beauty not only on the outside but on the inside because that is where our true beauty lies okay embracing your characteristics your personality your flaws your strengths not hiding who you are and showing up as you so if that resonates with you you need to become friends with me. You need to follow. Of course, turn on all of the live notifications. If you are here live, you're going to see that red button up in that corner. That means you are here with me on the live. Drop a one in the comments. Tell me where you are tuning in from. Number two, drop a two in the comments if you are here on the playback, also known as hashtag replay. I would love to come back here and thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this broadcast. And of course, if you are brand new, drop new in the comments so that I can come back and say hello and thank you for being here. So let's get started. Let's get to the T, okay? I have got four amazing tips for you today on how you can improve your leadership skills, whether it be professionally, whether it be personally, whether it be with relationships, okay? I feel that I have the qualities to speak to you on this specific topic, okay? So number, number one, okay? You must always learn and improve, okay? I am going to tell you right now that leaders never stop learning. They never stop growing, period. We never do, okay? Leaders are lifelong students. So you must always learn and improve. Well, how can you do that? You can learn and improve by never being satisfied of where you are at. Never be satisfied at where you are at. Always go forward, okay? Always wanting to improve who you are. You can do this by reading. You can do this by studying. You can do this by listening to podcasts. Invest in yourself, okay? You have to invest in yourself as a leader before you can lead other people. You also have to have the belief within yourself that you are a leader. If you don't believe in yourself that you are a leader, how are you going to be able to influence others to step up into their leadership skills? Okay? All leaders are readers. I read all the time. I listen to podcasts, okay? I read a lot of books by listening to them on my Audible. I love Audible. Um, for some reason, when I sit down and read a book nowadays, I'm like, and it's probably because I'm a mom. I am a mom. I'm constantly busy. My body is always tired. So I have found ways that I can continue to grow. And that's what leaders do. Okay. Leaders, they attend meetings. They attend conferences. If you are a professional, if you own a business like I do here on Facebook, okay, on social media, you need to be attending your meetings and conferences that your company does. Plain and simple. Even if they're going live on Facebook on Thursday just to go over new products that came out or something like that. You need to be attending that whether it be live or watching it on the replay. You've got to plug in. Always plug in, okay? Be part of the discussions. Number two, the second step in improving your leadership skills is identifying what leadership skills you may be lacking and learn from them. That doesn't mean that you have to focus on the leadership skills that, that you don't have and that's all you focus on, okay? When you know the qualities that you are specifically missing, you can work to improve yourself. 
Maybe you lack integrity. Maybe you have a hard time with integrity. Maybe you have a difficulty with being patient. Maybe you have difficulties with delegation and you want to do everything yourself. These are leadership skills that you can develop. Leaders are not born. Okay, very seldom are leaders born, but leaders can be developed and leaders can be developed because you are investing in yourself. And I encourage you to invest in yourself and to step into your leadership, the person that you know and I know that you are. People are born with certain leadership skills. We don't have every single leadership skill out there. So if there, if you know that you are a person who struggles with being patient, work on that. Read books on how you can be more patient. Okay, if you have a difficulty with delegating things to people who have who have delegation as a strength of yours. Get them involved. Okay, there is nothing more empowering of reaching out to somebody and delegating something to them that is in their wheelhouse. It is their strength. Number one, you are building up that person when you do that. Think about it that way. You are building them up. You are helping to improve their leadership skills. You're helping them step into their leadership skills because you are honing in on their strengths. Number three, the third tip that I can give you to help improve your leadership skills is remember these three rules. Number one, it doesn't matter where you came from. It matters where you are going. Don't be looking back in the past. Don't look back in October. October is done and gone. You need to focus on your November. You need to focus on moving forward, not living in the past. Who cares where you came from? You can overcome that. Do not let it control who you are. If you want your life to get better, you have to get better. You can't just sit there and wallow in self-pity or something like that and expect for you to be moving forward. If you want to get better, you have to get better. Develop your leadership skills. Okay, we talked about this. Develop your leadership skills. If there's something that you want to specifically improve on regarding leadership, go after it. Improve. You can learn anything you want to learn, okay? Anybody can. Leaders know what they want. They go out, they make it happen, and they're always looking to improve themselves. When they improve themselves, they're helping improve other people also. And the fourth tip, the fourth tip that I can share with you today in improving your leadership skills is improve your leadership skills, okay? Do more certain things. Do more of certain things. Do things that are of greater value to you and to achieving results as a leader. Read more, okay? Work on your leadership skills that you're missing. Do less of certain things. Stop doing things that aren't working for you, that are not benefiting you as a leader. Start doing things that you're not doing that you need to be doing, and stop doing some things altogether, okay? Stop doing things that aren't relevant to you as a goal, as a leader, okay? You guys, leadership is more about who you are than what you do. People don't care what you do. People care if you take time to listen to them, if you take time to invest in them, okay? Leadership is more about who it is that you are, not what it is that you do. Remember, if you want to change your future, you have to take action. You have to take action now. Okay, so drop below in the comments, what is one leadership weakness or blind spot that you feel that you can improve on? Let me know down below because... I want to be able to, to help you no matter 
where you are at in your journey, no matter what company you're with, let me know what is a leadership skill that you want to learn and develop more. What are some blind spots that you have specifically in your business? I am here for you. Okay. I'm not here to sell to you. Yes. Am I with a company? Absolutely. And I absolutely love it. My skin looks freaking amazing. Thank you, pharmacy. But I am not here to specifically sell to you. I am here providing value because I want you to succeed. I want you to succeed professionally. I want you to succeed in your business. I want you to succeed personally. That's what I am here for you. So let me know down below, what is a leadership weakness or blind spot that you find in your life that you specifically want to improve on? So until my next video, stay true to yourself, be authentic, be genuine, show love to others, and of course, you guys, be kind, and I will chat with you later, okay? See you tomorrow. Toodles!